might have missed in the Queen's speech on Wednesday was the proposed Groceries Code Adjudication Bill. Not the snappiest title, perhaps, but the government's so keen on it that they published the actual bill on Friday. According to them, it will beef up protection for farmers. See what I did there? And suppliers in their dealings with the big supermarkets. So joining me now from our Westminster studio is Nick von Westenholz of the NFU. Um, just lately, Nick, we've seen a lot of supermarkets bigging up their, their suppliers, the smaller local ones in particular, watercress from Alsford in Hampshire, sausages from Devizes, tomatoes from the Isle of Wight. They do seem to be looking after the supply chain, investing in it. Why do farmers need these change in the law? Well, I don't think it's a huge surprise that they, you know, in the, in the last week or so have been uh, promoting some of the good work they've, they've been doing with, uh, with farmers and, and their suppliers. And, and let's be clear that there is some uh, good work out there which the supermarkets are, are doing. Um, but there is also no doubt uh, that some producers and some suppliers to supermarkets are, are suffering at the hands of some very unfair practices. Uh, and this new bill, published on Friday, uh, is going to go um, a good step of the way into to resolving that. So it's a court of appeal, and as we now know, you can go and represent some of those suppliers as a third party, or the, they themselves can go there, and someone will rule on whether they're getting a fair price or fair dealings? Well, uh, the adjudicator won't be ruling on, on price. That's outside the scope of its, its powers. What it will be doing is policing the code of practice for, for supermarkets, which came in a couple of years ago. Uh, and all, it, since that time, there has been no referee uh, uh, enforcing the rule book. So it's really, uh, you know... Uh, Does it not all revolve around the price or the money that they're getting for what they're supplying? Well, it, it may impact on that. For example, a lot of uh, uh, farmers and growers uh, have found themselves being asked to contribute to promotions that supermarkets uh, mm. are, are running, uh, and that clearly impacts on the price uh, that, that growers are receiving. But the bulk of produce sold in supermarkets is built, bought from large multinationals, Unilever, Kraft, people like that. Why, does, uh, the, why do we need an adjudicator for those people? Well, I mean, the Competition Commission studied this whole sector and reported on it in 2008. And what they found was an adverse effect on competition where risk was passed down the supply chain. So uh, even if this adjudicator is concerned with the supermarkets and their direct suppliers, when the supermarkets are treating uh, uh, are acting unfairly, that often gets passed all the way down to the growers at the end. Uh, and so quite often it's farmers and growers who, who bear the brunt of, uh, brunt of that practice. Mm. Chris Choke, do you think there's a chance this is going to put up costs, do you think? And this is extra regulation. I haven't said this is a quango, which you're supposed to be getting rid of. Well, I, I must say, I'm, I'm sceptical about whether it's going to do what's on the tin, basically, set on the tin, because the... Uh, the We've got very competitive supermarkets. We've got much lower costs for customers in our supermarkets than in a lot of other uh, countries. And I'm not sure that this bill uh, is going to address the big issues. The big issues are why are greengrocers, for example, not able to operate any longer on our high streets? And that's largely because of the burden of rates. Mm. Uh, why are the costs of getting food from the farm to uh, the uh, the supermarket so high, largely because of high diesel prices, much higher than they are on the continent. There are bigger issues, and I'm not sure that this bill is actually um, worthy of all the t parliamentary time that may be involved in it. Mm. And I, I fear that there are, uh, are more serious underlying issues uh, which uh, should be being addressed. Could be fiddling at the edges, uh, Nick von Westenholz. Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, Mr. Chope's absolutely right. There's an awful lot of uh, uh, problems which are outside the scope of the adjudicator. But there is a very real problem with the way that supermarkets uh, treat uh, the, the, the suppliers. And, and also, there's cross-party support for this. So I don't think it will take up an awful lot of parliamentary time. I think uh, it should go through pretty quickly, and we should get an adjudicator up and running um, you know, by the end of the year, early in the next year. Those are the most dangerous bills, the ones with, well, with cross-party cross support. support. <laughs> yeah. Jackie Raymond, though, Labour has to rebuild, surely, its, its connections with the countryside, because the countryside lobby fell out badly with your party. Indeed, and we need to put a lot of work in to make sure that we engage with the rural communities and areas of the country which still suffer, unlike some of the unitaries. So I think, yeah, there's a job of work to be done. We recognise that. And uh, we're beginning to engage on a much wider scale and in a much better way. But uh, still a lot to be done, that's right, for sure. Uh, thank you both. Um, and Nick von Westenholz, thanks very much for joining us from, uh, from Westminster. Police officers from all